Indiana's news leader. Eyewitness News Nightbeat starts now. Uh -huh. A London police officer fired those shots, killing the attacker who tried to get into the British Parliament building. And tonight we know that five people died, a police officer, three civilians, and that attacker. Forty others were injured. This all unfolded in central London. The attacker mowed down several people on the Westminster Bridge, then crashed his car into a gate in front of Parliament. The knife-wielding man then tried to get inside the building. He stabbed one officer before that policeman shot and killed him. Parliament went on lockdown, and now the search is on to make sure there are no other attackers in the area. We will be working throughout the night. We have hundreds of officers on this investigation, and they're focusing on the suspect's motivation, preparation, and his associates. London police say they will be putting more armed officers on the streets to help reassure the public. And back here in the U.S., police are increasing their presence at British sites in New York. More NYPD officers are assigned to the British consulate, the mission, and other British sites. And France is showing its support for London tonight. Just hours after the Eiffel Tower incident occurred, it went dark. It showed off the lights to show as a mark of respect for the victims of that attack in London.